If the thought of a self-driving big rig scares you, then you are not alone. But the reality is the technology is here, and it will soon roll out on roadways across North Texas. A local company testing these robo-trucks tells our J.D. Miles they're safe and will hopefully reduce the price that you pay for goods. Well, if you've got, as the trucker song says, a long way to go and a short time to get there, self-driving 18-wheelers will do things never accomplished before. They're about to change the highways as we know them and are already being tested here in North Texas. First glance, this looks like a regular terminal. The small Ellis County town of Palmer seems an unlikely place. Up at the very top, you'll see a sensor. For the home. That allows us to see four football fields in advance. Of what some call robo trucks. So what do we have here? Yeah, so in here we have the brains of the Aurora driver. There's two of them in there. Osa Fisher is president of Aurora Innovation and has spent the last three years in Texas testing self-driving autonomous big rigs that she believes is the future of trucking. I believe the world was born ready for a truck like this. A truck that has 25 cameras and sensors that are calibrated every time they roll out, along with four powerful antennas. Think about them as supercharged cell towers. Excited to uh, give this a try. Yes, sir. Right. We were allowed to ride on one of Aurora's test drives with two operators whose only job is to make sure the self-driving truck does its job. All right, we got a box truck coming up inside left lane. The licensed driver who is ready to grab the wheel says he has never had to during his test drives. It will break or slow down just like I would normally do. This kind of testing you see here with two operators who are pretty much just along for the ride has been going on long and successfully enough that we're told big rigs with completely empty cabs will be on Texas roads within only a few months. Would you feel comfortable walking in front of this truck while it's operating? Absolutely, I'd be very comfortable with that. Aurora has had one minor crash involving an autonomous truck in Ellis County, but authorities determined it was caused by an out of control driver in another vehicle. This video provided by the company shows a big rig successfully stopping for an unexpected pedestrian. But Aurora isn't quite as confident yet about self-driving in bad weather. We're very confident in our ability to navigate in clear weather, misty weather, foggy weather, uh, and that's how we're gonna start. Computer-driven trucks can haul for 22 hours straight, double the time humans are legally allowed to. The reduced cost of shipping from that and no paid driver could lower prices consumers pay for things transported on the ground. But Foster, who has a commercial driver's license herself, knows building public trust in the technology will be essential to making this idea successful. To be honest, I trust the Aurora driver more than I trust myself behind the truck of an 18-wheeler. Now, you may be wondering who regulates these autonomous vehicles. We've learned that it's really basically three state agencies, the state legislature, the Texas Department of Transportation, and the Department of Public Safety. We are told that Aurora is uh, very candid with them and meets all of their safety mandates and tries to be transparent in their testing. Yeah, that's good to know that they're checking in with all those agencies, uh, answering all the questions that they may have. J.D., we do have another question, though, that I wanted to ask you while we have you here. What happens to these trucks if they break down, maybe if they get a flat tire? How is all of that handled if there isn't a driver on board? Good question. Aurora has what's called a fault management system. Uh, these trucks, of course, are being monitored remotely all the time, no matter where they are. So if one does break down or has an issue, there's a monitor who can spot that, and they can dispatch either maintenance to repair the truck or to possibly tow it. Yeah, it is all very high-tech, that's for sure. J.D. Miles, live for us tonight. And Richardson, we appreciate it. Thank you.